my mission and my motto to put India on the map and I have put India on the map. waking up to something like this every single day of your life and thinking which car do I drive? Well this is Garages of the Rich and Famous and that's what we are here to show you. The collection here is truly drool worthy not only because they are fantastic modern day cars but because there is a veritably awesome collection of old beauties in this garage as well. Let me show you. And now I'd like you to meet the wonderful owner of this fabulous garage, Johan, Johan Punawala, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, thank you, you so much for sharing this garage with us. I mean, I have been drooling all morning. Uh, this is just such a fabulous collection. When did this, when did you get your first car? When did your collection begin? Well, the first car was a car, that was a family car, 1931 Chevy. Okay. Which, uh, was gifted to me in in the early 90s and the first car that I actually bought on my own was in 2001 when we just got married was the Maharaja of Punch Coats Phantom 3. Amazing and you still have these cars with you? Yes I do. You know you have some very very special cars here I've seen some of the Mysore cars uh, this car is another special car. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, the Mysore cars, uh, I have a special, they, they have a special place uh, in my heart because they put India and me on the international map. We'll come to that uh, a little later, but if I start with this special 1933 Phantom 2, which originally belonged to Sir Malcolm Campbell. Land speed record holder. Holder, nine time land and water speed record holder and as you can see she is finished in the original sax blue it's it's beautiful which was yeah. the bluebird uh, color that yeah. he raced actually on the salt lake in utah oh amazing amazing and it's a short uh, chassis which uh, he preferred so that he could maneuver in the streets of uh, london yeah. this is a special police siren mm -hmm that only he could have on his car because he was given police rank Amazing. at the time. This is another very iconic car as she is fondly called as the Pope Mobile. Okay. Right. And she was brought in 1964 for Pope Paul VI a visit visit to India where I believe one million people greeted him in Bombay on that day yeah and after he left he gifted the car to mother Teresa who auctioned it off for charity as you would imagine she wouldn't have any yeah. use for it yeah. it changed several hands and I was lucky enough to acquire the car in 2020 So do you decide that, you know, do you, when you're sitting, do you sit and decide these, I want this car, I want that car and then how difficult are they to acquire? Very difficult because they are few and far between mm -hmm. but I like to acquire cars know. which have some history, mm. uh, something special about them, some provenance of previous owners and things like that, you know. So you, you pick your cars based on their history. But are there also cars that you pick based on brands? I see you have a lot of roles in your garage. It's obviously something that you're very, very fond of. Yes, I am fond of Rolls and Bentley mm -hmm. and Ferraris too. So here are three of my babies. Okay. My saw one in the center which is the car that put India on the international map first. Okay, wow. So she went to Salo Prive mm -hmm. and won the Duke of Marlborough Award, okay. which, is, which was a very big one. Yeah. And then she went to RREC, mm -hmm. which is a very hardcore yeah. event. 
and she Marked won best. Marked very meticulously. Yes. They swoop under the car, uh, which normally they uh, you won't see them do even at Pebble Beach. Yeah. And she won best in class there, beating a very special uh, R-type Continental fastback. This question I have to ask you. I've seen this very lonesome, <laughs> onesome Lamborghini in your garage. Why only one Lamborghini? Well, yeah, that's true. This was actually it was a gift for Michelle. Okay, your wife. So that, yeah, it's my, a special edition. It's a, yes, it's number two thirty-eight of only two fifty made yeah. in the world, and that's why she'll stay in the collection because I like to collect special cars, special editions, and cars that are different. Something special about uh, Ferrari, I don't know. It's just when you get in the car and the the red. All my Ferraris are red. Yeah. Maybe now, maybe the next one will be something other than red. But there's definitely something special. Yeah. About a Ferrari, maybe that other you don't feel with other brands. And which of these cars is your favorite? I mean, which of the Ferraris is a Ferrari that you use very often? I like the Aperta. Yeah. It's one of 499. Mm -hmm. The Pista is also very special because she's a spider. Mm -hmm. But if one had to pick, the pick of the litter would be the Aperta. So, Johan, most of you know the collectors I know, their biggest pain point is trying to get original parts. How hard is it for you to do that and or has it become easier over the years? Because now, you know, collectors are getting noticed, collections are getting noticed, which wasn't so earlier. You know, it, it, it's not getting easier mm -hmm. because cars are getting older, mm -hmm. parts are getting rarer yeah. and it's getting more and more difficult. Maybe the process of yeah. bringing them in yeah. etc is uh, uh, now maybe easier and more streamlined but actually sourcing and finding the parts even in the UK example for my Rolls Royce collection and my Bentleys mm. is extremely difficult yeah. I think parts for American cars yeah. is still easier yeah. my mission and my motto to put India on the map and I have put India on the map. I must say that the International Motor Car Fraternity have uh, really been receptive and very warm and open and it's, it's a really nice uh, feeling. It has been a very special year mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Starting with uh, early early in the year where I've been the first Indian to come in the top 100 car, classic car collectors. We hope that you get higher and higher and higher in that 100. And uh, we hope to be sharing more of your cars with you uh, sometime in the future. Thank, Thank you. you.